What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Assembly and Arsenal. I am going to stay true to what I said and I am going to keep uploading this regularly. I, I really slacked, uh, I'm not going to lie, I got really far behind on it. There was times where I didn't upload it for a week, stuff like that. But it is going to be my main goal now to upload this every other day. I want to be getting these to you as often as possible. Now Team of the Season is kind of done with now. I don't have to concentrate as much on Team of the Season reviews and squad builders. So we can concentrate on this, we can concentrate on Man of the Matches and other great stuff. So before we get into the episode, what I do want to say is if you want a fast and reliable coin service, check out utcointraders.com. There is a link to them in the description down below. But anyway, uh, as you can see, we went into this first game. Um, we were using, obviously, our usual 4 one 2 one 2 team. We had the inform Wilshire playing defensive mid for us. We haven't bought a player since Wilshire, so we haven't had one for a couple players. We do actually buy one at the end of this episode, but uh, as you can see, we weren't 1-0 up with that inform Wilshire. And then uh, he went on a pretty decent attack and managed to pull one back for him to make it 1-0. Gareth Bale, he had a very, very nice team indeed. A great Prem team with Bale, Hazard, uh, and a bunch of other great players too. Uh, I think, I can't really remember, I think Hazard must have been out of, uh, out of position, but stupidly he I rushed my goalie out and that meant he could uh, take the lead and make it 2-1 with Vincent Company. And uh, yeah, that made it two hours. We went in at half time. Now, I actually recorded this at the same time as the last bunch of gameplay for the previous episode, but I decided that there was too much of it to fit all in. But uh, two shots, two goals for him there. I was a little bit annoyed at that, but oh well, nothing you can do about it. But uh, that explains why, that, why there's some trading uh, in between this game and the next game. But um, Santi Cazorla picks up the ball here, plays an absolutely incredible ball over the top to Schumach, and he dinks it over the goalie perfectly. I could have trapped it across there, but no need when you have the big Schumach it in up the top, and uh, he banged that one away for us and uh, equalised. But this guy almost immediately... Uh Immediately took the lead back. Um, we'd barely had any time to breathe. And I don't know what I was doing there with Dejuru sliding straight along the floor. I nearly managed to cut it out before it dropped to Aguero. But uh, Aguero did put it away. And then on the 90th minute when I thought it was too late. It, the ball was played over the top to Schmack. And I was a little bit sweaty uh, knocking it down to Podolski there. But at least it wasn't a full on tramp. And uh, he banged it away and that made it free all as we went in to the end of the match. So we managed to get the draw there. And... Uh, we can move on to our, our next like, few games and try and attack the rest of the tournament. So uh, we actually ha had a great deal there on that Yilmaz. I picked him up for 13k in a bid. I also had a Barini over there, which I think I ended up just making money back on. I kind of messed up. I bought him for a 40k bid, which was, uh, I think the next cheapest was uh, 43.5k by now. Um, so I, was, I wasn't really expecting to make all that much at all, maybe like... 800 coins to a thousand. I don't really know why I went for it, but uh, he doesn't even sell first time either, which uh, is not not too good. But Schmack there has a head up, which is just tipped over the goal by the goalie, obviously. And uh, then we put a cross in, and Schmack redeems himself there by scoring an absolutely beautiful header from the corner and making it 1 0 for us. And uh, he wasn't done there. Schmack lost the ball, but uh, some great little play there. Tackled by, uh, I'm not sure who that was, uh, defensive mid. I think it might have been Coquelin if he was playing. And then Schmack scored an absolute screamer there. Bolter of a goal. Long shot, top corner, absolutely lovely. How's your, how's your father, whatever they're saying is, I don't know. And then Schmack got, us, got ourselves a penalty. He managed to run it around the goalie and win us a penalty, which I should have given Schmack really in hindsight to get his uh, to get his hat-trick. But I gave it to Lucas, who hit it above the goalie. And this is a common theme in this episode. Uh, it's it's a, it's a very easy tactic when you have penalties if you just aim them slightly above the goalie. Uh, the, even if they stay down the middle, that it was so bad that it made him rage quit. But even if you stay down the middle, it will still go in if you aim it above the keeper. So that meant we uh, we now had 11 points with four games left. We've got a chance to pick ourselves up uh, 12 more points if we win the remainder of the games. And that would actually get us promoted. I think we need 10 to win so we can draw one and uh, win three. And we were not promoted and we'll win the title. So uh, the pressure's kind of on to win three and draw one. But... Um, we go into this next game against a 3-5-2 team. Again, he has Bale. Everyone seems to have Bale. He also had Van Persie and Aguero and a few team of the seasons at the back. But uh, not Aguero and Falcao. Uh, the Falcao had very, very little chemistry though. But uh, Giroud there was just running backwards and forwards. I couldn't really find anywhere to go. But I managed to earn myself a penalty with it again. And I took the exact same technique. And he stayed down the middle again. And uh, the goalie just fell back and didn't manage to get it. And that gave us a 1-0 lead. And that was how it stayed as we went in at half time. Now, it was looking good for us. Um... To have a 1-0 lead at this point is exactly what I needed. I want to be getting wins and uh, it, it looked like it was going to go a little bit to the worse here. I don't know how it happened, but Koscielny apparently got sent off for this tackle. Uh, I wasn't even controlling him. I think it was a little bit of one of those EA troll things. I mean, my players just all collided into each other here and uh, apparently I got sent off for that. I don't... 
don't really agree with that. But that's FIFA. What can you do about it? And uh, it didn't stop us. Giroud ran down the other end and absolutely failed right there. I thought I was going to be cocky and do a fake shot and him go sliding across. But uh, we managed to win the ball back anyway pretty quickly with Rosicki. And he played it to Walker. He played it to Podolski who dummied it and bang into the uh, the top left-hand corner. And that meant we got the win. The 2-0 win that we needed. And uh, that means we are still on track to get ourselves that promotion. We now need two wins and a draw to, uh, not the promotion, to win the title. I keep saying promotion. Apologies for that. But uh, we're now seven points off it. And realistically, we can do it. I mean, uh, we're on form to do so. And I had to stick up uh, Barini again because I'm struggling to sell him. And we uh, we pick up one signing for this episode. And uh, it was a Andrade Alshavin in left mid. Uh, just a random formation. Just a, uh, I think I went for anyone with four in the middle because it would uh, it'd do the job. And I picked him up, put him on the bench. And uh, we went on from there. So as you'll be able to see, uh, the checklist is on the screen now. We're still working through the players, but we're going to start picking up some pace now that we're going to be on in more, and I'm going to try and whack through a bunch of trading in the next few days. But that is the end of this episode, guys. This is the squad that we will be using for the next episode, I believe. But thanks, as always, for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Leave a like if you did enjoy it as well. If we could get to 350 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Also, if you want to check out some of the latest uploads to my second channel, you can click either of the things on the screen. Now you can click on the left to go watch the latest episode of my Watford career, or you can click on the right to go watch the brand new episode of Armour 2 Takistan Life, or you can leave links in the description down below. Bye!